What's up guys, my name is Elia Tabrizi and uh, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna talk about how you can change this scene. Is it really a box? Don't, don't, don't open it! Call the police, do something! And make it look like this scene right here. Wait, 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 what? O-M-G. No, don't, don't move, don't you dare, oh, no, don't, don't. You open the door. How stupid you are. Oh. A box? There, there's might. There's have to be something. Wait, what? The heck is that? Wait. What? I just feel like nothing. Oh my gosh. So for both of those scenes, the camera is placed right at the same exact spot with the same lens. So I didn't change anything, any setting in the camera and I'm using the Sony A7 III and Picture Profile 2 for both of those scenes. So I just did some changes with the lighting and the contrast and creating some depth of field. So I'm gonna show you how I changed those scenes and uh, got that result. The first thing I'm going to do is move the couch and bring it forward to create some depth of field. And let's do that now. I brought the couch around this area. So that is number one thing that I will always do and I always recommend to do is move the couch away from the wall. Next thing, I'm gonna add some contrast. So by doing that, I'm gonna hang something on the wall and that's just gonna create more dynamic to our, our scene and add some uh, different colors on this couch to create that contrast look. Because our color palettes are kind of blue and uh, grayish, so uh, I'm gonna add this frame on the wall. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add these pillows right here on the couch. So now we are creating uh, different layers in our scene. So after this, uh, I would always add my practical lights. And let's do that now. So now I have my practical lights and these are more warm colors and my set is blue colors. So I'm trying to create a contrast between warm and cooler colors. So what I'm gonna do here in the background, just to separate myself even furthermore from the background, I'm gonna add a tungsten light back here. And here's my tungsten light. Just gonna turn it on and facing this to my back. So that way I can create some highlights uh, on my back and my shoulders and also separate myself from the wall and fill in those shadows that are created on the wall. So I shot my, uh, my video in ISO 200 and that was earlier in the day, but now because it's dark and I don't have my light set up yet, I had my ISO brought up to 2000, so I'm gonna decrease it and bring it back to 200. So ISO is back in 200, as you can see. My background is pretty lit up and it's pretty cinematic right now already, but uh, I need to light up myself, the subject, and do some other changes. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn off the ceiling light. So this light is gonna be off. And I'm even darker right now. So the next thing, there's the window light right there. It's it's night right now, it was a uh, day earlier, so it was bright out there. But that's the one thing we want to take control of is uh, the light. So I'm gonna always block the windows and uh, make sure there's no light coming in my scene so I can keep it consistent. So we'll do that now. So there's no light coming in. The next thing I'm gonna do is turn on my key light. So for my key light, I'm using a, a key light. I'm using a Stella Pro uh, CLX10, 
and I have a Elling Chrome a snap lock softbox on it, 45 degrees and on this object, which is going to be right there, which is me right now, but earlier it was uh, one of my family members that was helping. And in addition, I'm gonna add the same Scylla Pro light with a blue gel on it. I didn't have blue gel, so I just went to Target and bought some of these binders, like color binders, and I just got a, uh, just cut a piece and just put it on it. So here's my blue light. And I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see how it looks like on my scene. So I'm turning the lights off and First thing, turning on my key light. There it is. And next up, I'm turning on the blue gel. There it is. So I have this blue gel uh, just to create a scene that it's, uh, if it's also kind of like a night uh, TV scene. So, so the girl is watching the TV. So that's kind of like a blue reflection coming from the TV. And I also use another piece of the binder that I just cut and I was keep like back and forth bringing it front of the light to create that uh, kind of TV reflection or flicker like that. So that's all I did uh, to create that effect. So <clears throat> the next thing I need to do is bring in the fill light. And for the fill light, this is what I used. I didn't have additional light, so I just used one of these cube little lights. Uh, I'm really not a big fan of them, but they're good in some situations like this. So I put a diffuser on it and uh, put it in the brightest, basically uh, setting, the most powerful setting. And I just put it right here on my, on my slider and to fill in some of the shadows in my right side of the face. So I have my key light, I have my fill light, and I have my backlight. I have my contrast set up here. What I'm wearing right now, this is on purpose just to create the contrast, the pillows and the back frame. I do have my accent lights all back there and my practical lights. Um, and I do have my depth of field. So the only thing that I need to add right here, it's motion in the camera and make sure that I'm, I'm on 24 millimeter, I think. I'm on 16 millimeter right now recording this video. Yeah, so this is my complete scene. Uh, I'm on 24 millimeters right now. And the camera's on a slider. Again, this is a Sony a7 III, uh, picture profile number two. And I chose the picture for profile because it just looked better uh, compared to the other uh, picture profiles in this contrast or this color palette that I'm trying to create. So just putting it on the slider and just giving it some motion. And that's about it. So here again, this is the before footage. And this is the final footage. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, please leave a comment and make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.